One of the best uh, time-saving tricks that I like to use, that might not be very scientific, but it saves me a lot of time, is that after I color correct and balance my image, I will come to curves and first go to hue versus hue. Then I will choose all the vectors, so I'm going to be controlling every hue that I could control in the image. So now I created six control points here, with every point controlling the hue of a certain hue in the image. So first I will come to the red control point and simply bring it down and up and see how this affects my image. Notice that the red point will usually control the skin tones, so you don't want to mess a lot with that. Then I'm going to come to the yellow control point and also bring it down and up, see how this controls the image. You can see because of the colors of this particular image, this point, the yellow point is really changing the look of the image entirely. Take a look at this position here and this position. Of course, this doesn't look natural at all, but we're going to be correcting that in a minute. And then I'm going to be doing the same, bringing the green down and up, seeing how this affects the image. This is better. And for the sign and blue points, I'm going to come back here to the beginning of the clip to see the sky. And let's bring the cyan down, then up. I think it was in the correct position. Then the blue. Okay, again, it was in the correct position. And magenta. It doesn't have much of an effect here. Then in the same node, I will choose hue versus saturation. This is where we control the saturation of certain hues in the image. I'm going to choose all the uh, control points and I'm going to be controlling the saturation of every color now. Red down. Yeah, this looks a bit better. Now the yellow, even though the image looks green now, because we're working on the same node, this node still see this color as yellow, because it was received as yellow from the node right before it. If I add a new node after this one, the new node will see this as green, but as far as this node is concerned, this is yellow. So let's bring the saturation down, much better. Green, and let's come back to the beginning here to see the sky. Actually red is too much, let me bring the red down. Cyan, yeah, much better here. And blue, and let's test magenta. Well, not much of a difference. Now, let's take a look at the image before this node. I'm going to click on the node to see the image before it, and after this node. It looks much better. This might not be very scientific, but it gives you a very fast way to edit the colors of your image and the saturation. Let's take a look at this image. I'm going to add a new node, and come back to hue versus hue, choose all the vectors, and see what I can do to the image. Now, Cyan is giving us some interesting effects. You see, when I pull it down, this part of the image, it just goes towards magenta. Let me bring this up here. I'm gonna keep it the way it was. Then blue. Ah, oh, this is much better. See, the original color of blue just I don't know, I didn't like it personally, this is much better. Then I will go to hue versus saturation, again, all the vectors, and experimenting again. Okay, let's take a look at the image before our adjustments and after. Then let's take a look at this image. I'm going uh, to go back to hue versus hue, select all the points and see what I can do. Yeah, this looks more golden, this is much better. Let me bring the yellow down and up just to see what I can do. Hmm, much better. And of course we have a lot of uh, cyan and blue in the back. You don't want to change the colors. Sometimes, of course, these are the original colors and you don't want to change them. Then hue versus saturation. Okay, this is much better now with the saturation. Let's also bring this up. And I want to bring the saturation down on these parts in the back, so... Cyan and blue. Yeah, much better. Let's take a look at before and after. This is a very easy and fast way to get you started with your images, experimenting with them.